Hey guys, so you remember my last video when I said that I was probably going to talk about the Maze Runner trilogy, all three books, in one video. I changed my mind because that would be an insanely long video and I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit here through that. So instead I'm just going to talk about the first book and a little bit about the upcoming Maze Runner movie. The book itself, I really liked it, and for me, it was a pretty quick read. Uh, it is the largest of the three books, but uh, it went by really fast for me. So this one, I think, is the most suspenseful because it's from the perspective of Thomas, who for 99.97% of the novel has no idea what's going on except for teensy little bits and pieces here and there. I mean, granted, as a reader, you do sort of know that it's an experiment, and, and that's what they're in there for. But Thomas doesn't know this, so... And you really don't know why <clears throat> these specific <clears throat> kids are part of that. And I'm using my phone to hold up my camera, and that was that sound you just heard, was my phone. Um. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that. I was talking about suspense. Um, okay, so yeah, as a reader, you know that these kids are part of an experiment, but you don't know why these specific kids were the ones chosen. And so you're kind of in the same boat they are with and you have a tiny little hint of what's going on but you don't really know the full story behind it. Another thing is... Okay, now, now we're gonna talk about character development guys. Shocker, right? There's not a lot of it in this one but you're only seeing it through the perspective of Thomas. One thing you've got to remember when you're talking about novels that are told through the perspective of one character is that they're not really reliable and you don't see everything. So with that in mind, I had, you know, some mixed feelings about a lot of the side characters. But like I said, it's from the perspective of a teenage boy. So you don't really see the character development because he doesn't care about that. Like he's just trying to figure out what's going on so much of the book is spent on setting up the plot so there's just not really a lot of time to focus on character development but that's really what this book needs to do because it is the first in a trilogy so I mean if you didn't set up the foundation for the plot in this one you've pretty much just ruined you know the whole series so um the lack of character development in this novel is made up for by the setting up of the plot so it didn't really take away from the book in my opinion what else did i want to say about the book i don't really know oh i do know okay so <laughs> the entire time i was reading this um knowing that it was coming that you know that they were part of an experiment I just kept thinking of like experimental ethics like as part of a like from a psychology study um, especially because when I was reading this um, I'm taking a research methods class right now so there was a lot of talk about ethics and so <laughs> I was just thinking about how absolutely unethical everything that was going on was so that was one like overrunning thought I had through the whole trilogy actually was how unethical all of this was and how could you just you know do this to other people but um yeah but good book uh, um, so I definitely recommend reading it especially if you like dystopian sci-fi thingies it's very good um 
I didn't really get a Hunger Games feel from it, but I know a lot of people did. Like, I've, I've heard it compared to the Hunger Games a lot. So... So maybe you would get that same kind of feel from it. I don't know. I didn't, but... If you like that sort of genre, then you'll probably like The Maze Runner as well. So... Yeah. Read it. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the movie. I saw the full cast list for this movie about halfway through reading the book, so I already kind of had an idea of how I envisioned each one of the characters. But the casting in this is kind of perfect, except for the fact that the dude playing Newt doesn't have long hair, which I saw some people in the fandom getting really annoyed about that, like on Tumblr, and it's not a huge plot point. So it doesn't matter that he doesn't have long hair. But I remember I was reading, I don't even remember what scene it was, but just something that one of the characters said was absolutely perfect and I could envision the actor saying it so well that it, it just kind of clicked for me that these characters were cast really, really well and I was just really excited for that aspect of it. Now that opinion might change when I see the movie because I don't really know how most of these actors act, but just based on looks wise alone, I think they fit really, really well. Uh, like with any book to movie adaptation, I'm really wary about the movie because there have been some really, really good book adaptations. Harry Potter and the Perks of Being a Wallflower for one. And there have been really, really bad movie adaptations. The Lightning Thief. So, Inkheart. The bad movie adaptations. But James Dashner, the author of these, is really excited about the movie. And he seems really, really happy about the way that filming went. So that makes me feel a little better. and. Like I saw pictures on his Twitter that he spent time with the cast and that, you know, he just seems that like he approves of it in the way that it's been filmed. And so that makes me as a reader feel better because having the author's support will, it just makes it a little better and more enjoyable because you know the person that created these characters is happy with the way that they're being portrayed. So I think that's really cool. That's the same thing with the Fault in Our Stars movie. Still really nervous about that, but John Green's happy about it. Yeah, so I'm excited for the movie because of, you know, it's just a good book, so I want to see how well it's done. And also the author's happy about it, so that makes me happy about it. Yay! But the movie is set to be released sometime in 2014. I'm not sure of the exact date, but you can probably find it online somewhere. I looked and I couldn't, but it, I'm sure it's there. And I'm just being dumb. I can't find it. That's pretty much it. So just to recap, The Maze Runner, it's a really, really good book. It is the first in a trilogy, so if you don't have time to start a series, I wouldn't read it yet. I do recommend reading it at some point, but um, if you, you know, need some books to fill up some time, check out The Maze Runner. You'll like it. You'll want to read the next one and then the next one. Um, so my next video will probably be on the second book, which is The Scorch Trials. And then after that will be the third book, The Death Cure. If there's a book that you want to see me talk about, or think I should read, leave a comment, message me on Tumblr, uh, let me know, and I will be happy to do that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.